Hi everyone, this is Michael Lopez at Pilot International HQ and today I'm going to be walking you through an introduction of member clicks. Uh, more importantly, I'm going to walk you through what we need you as a member to complete within your profile um, and I'm also going to point out some other things that are important to take note of, um, things you just want to know and be um, expecting to come in the future. Um, but not too much. This is going to be short and sweet. Uh, we're not going to go too deep into it either. Um, so here I am to start with on the Pilot International website homepage. So on this homepage, we've added a button in the top right hand corner. You can see here it says member login. This is how you'll be able to get to member clicks from the Pilot International website. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and it's going to take me to the uh, Pilot International Member Clicks portal. Now this is where you'll log in and hopefully at this point you've seen the um, username and reset password email that we've sent out. I think we've sent a couple at this point. Um, if you haven't done that yet, go back to your emails and try to look for that welcome to Member Clicks email. I think there's another one that's titled uh, reset password member clicks look for that if you haven't already and um, go ahead and set your password now if you haven't done that yet or if you don't have the email um, and if you lost it at this point you can always go to this forgot your password link and just put in the email that um, is associated with your account if you're not sure which email is associated with your account um, just use your most common email or emails where you've gotten pilot communication before and that should be your email. Okay, in any case, um, if you do, if you already know what your username and password is, we're gonna put it into these two spaces. So I'll go ahead and put in my username and password. Now for this example, I'm just gonna use a test one. Okay, and then I'm going to hit login. And we're not going to save at this point. Okay. Okay, so now that we've logged in, um, we can see this hello name tag, and your name will be in this white space here, which is great. That means you're now logged in. Now, we're going to want to update our profile. That's the first thing we want all pilots to do and make sure it is up to date and accurate. So to get to your profile, you're going to want to click the My Profile button at the top. Um, alternatively, you, cl you can click My Profile down here at the bottom. Um, they're the same thing. This one's just a bit more obvious here. I'll click this top one now. Okay, once I click that and I scroll down, I can see some of my information here. Here's my name, uh, the last time I logged in, and how many profile views I have. This account doesn't have any profile views because it's a, it's a test account, so n no other members should be looking for this account. Um, now if I keep scrolling down, I'm gonna see basic information about my account, including my name, my contact email, my phone number. Now, I'm gonna wanna edit this. Um, if this is your first time, some of this information might not be accurate. So I'll go ahead and click edit and um, adjust my contact name if it's not accurate, adjust my email, my phone number, um, my address. And once that's all updated, I can click save and it'll save all the information. Now, if this is the first time logging in or the first time editing this information, some of these fields might not even show currently. But that's okay, once you click edit, those fields will, will automatically appear here and you'll be able to fill them out. And when you click save, they'll show up here. So I think by default, um, some of these phone numbers don't even show if they're here. Basically, if something does not have uh, data inputted into it, it just won't show up at all and click, until you click edit and add uh, information to it. Okay, so once you're done inputting your basic information, you're gonna wanna scroll back up and move on to the next thing under My Profile. So we're gonna click this My Profile tab 
and go down to change profile picture which is the very first option so I'll go ahead and click that okay so we're on the change profile picture page um, and here you can read it says click on the picture below to upload edit or delete your avatar so now this this section here is clickable um, when we click it we're gonna get a little window that is gonna ask us to upload a photo now up here you have at the top some verbiage that talks about how many pixels your image should be um, it is best if the image is a square but I wouldn't worry too much about this at the moment just make sure you have a picture on your computer of yourself that you can upload don't worry so much about the pixels or if it's the right dimensions if it's exactly if it's exactly a square don't worry about that right now we're just gonna go ahead and click upload a photo so this will open up a file explorer window and this opened up to my desktop but you can search anywhere on your computer for an image it could be under your pictures or downloads uh, mine's on my desktop and that's where this file explorer opened and I do have one here ready to go so I'm gonna click this image now if you can tell this is a rectangle this is not a square but like I said before it's not it's not too important that's okay we can always crop the uploaded image and it's automatically in square dimensions this little area we're gonna drag it over click and drag resize it and kind of get the whole there we go once I have it adjusted I can go ahead and click crop image and it'll crop it and set it to the right uh, pixel count okay I'm gonna click save and it's saved here as you can see now when I go back to my profile it may no longer show up at the moment um, and I'll kind of show you here I'm gonna click my profile and because I just uploaded it it's not gonna show up yet here on your my profile homepage um, and that's just because the system takes a lot of updates uh, perhaps in a, in a couple hours or maybe even a few minutes after you log in and log out it, it'll start to show up here on this on this home page just at the moment it's not there but don't worry if you don't see it it did upload um, it did save just give it some time and it'll start to populate in there okay uh, the next thing we're going to want to look at still under the my profile tab is the message history now this section is where you'll be able to find all messages that were sent to you through member clicks so for instance any emails that are sent to you from pilot HQ um, will be listed in here in sequential order so this is a test account so no emails have been sent to it but I did do a password reset and that is considered a message sent from member clicks to my account so that's logged in here as well so anytime you reset a password or send a message to another pilot or um, you receive an email from HQ all of those messages will appear here in the message history section now all of these are clickable so I can click any any of these there's only one here but you'll see the, the other emails that you get you can click them and look at the contents of the message so this one is just a password reset but when we send out an email you can see the entire contents of the email so you don't necessarily have to go hunting through our hunting for our messages in your email um, you can always go to this message history and they're, they'll all be um, included here in sequential order okay uh, moving right along we have invoices now you shouldn't see any invoices in this section currently and that's because uh, member dues invoices were done through portal bus for this current 2018 2019 fiscal year so there are no outstanding invoices in this section yet um, but when upcoming events um, occur or when we start to sell tickets for convention for next year um, or when mem next next year's member dues are do um, an invoice will show up here all of your invoice will show up here um, for you to 
um, keep record of, look at uh, for at a later time. Uh, it just keeps a nice history of all the invoices. Okay, we're going to move on to submissions. Now, in this account, I haven't submitted anything yet, but we did send out a convention survey um, to our members a while back now. Um, so if you completed that survey, that submission will actually be in this section. Um, anytime you complete um, the monthly volunteer hours form, um, that submission will be in here as well. So again, just another uh, section that kind of keeps track of anything you've submitted and just keeps it in a nice sequential order. Okay, now I did mention volunteer hours and I do want to bring that up. That's a very important section. On any page on the Member Clicks website, you're going to see in the bottom right hand corner this monthly volunteer hours button. Um, it's on every page because it's very important. We do need to do a better job of logging our volunteer hours and making sure everything we do is captured um, so that we can later run a report or uh, promote the all the good that Pilot National does as an organization. Um, these volunteer hours are becoming more and more important to us. Okay, I'm going to go back to my profile. Okay, once you get back to your profile homepage, make sure your basic information is correct. And once you're sure it's correct, um, that, that about does it. There's, there's not much more to do at this point within member clicks. Um, we'll be rolling out some more uh, messages and communication that will outline how to use other features. Um, for instance, we do have this My Community tab, and this is a sort of social media um, feature within member clicks that allows you to make connections with other members much in the way that you can make a connection on Facebook or add a friend on Facebook. Um, but this is just pilots. Um, so it kind of eliminates some of the distractions of Facebook and just keeps it centered around the organization and keeps you in the loop of what others are doing. Um, you can create groups and circles. Um, just another way to communicate with pilots. Feel free to um, explore the My Community tab and um, connect with others. Uh, don't wor worry if you're a little bit lost in this section. We're not quite ready to um, move everyone onto this page quite yet. Um, we just want to make sure we, we are grounded in the basic functionality of member clicks, which is just updating the profile and being able to both view messages and future invoices. That's kind of the most important aspect of it right now. But we will quickly be getting to the My Community and other features. Uh, but that kind of wraps it up. Um, if you have any questions, feel free, feel free to reach out to me or Buffy. Um, actually, Buffy is probably going to be um, who you want to contact first. Um, but if there's any technical stuff or if you just have a question for me in general, um, feel free to reach out to me at michael at pilothq.org. Or like I said, reach out to Buffy at pilothq.org as well if you have any membership-related questions. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks.